Okay, I'm going to show you a formula that will help you so much in factorization. Okay, and it will help you save a lot of time and it in test or just uh, factorization in homework or anything. Okay, I'm going to explain the formula right now. So basically, when you're factorizing these equations, you right, you need to find the, what plus what gives you two, and what times what gives you one, right? And uh, in the small ones, uh, the small numbers, it's quite easy. So you just find 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. And 1 times 1 gives you 1. So you can just factorize it as x plus 1 times x plus 1. But, 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 right? When you get these big numbers, it's going to be way harder. And I'm going to show you a formula which does this. Formula. I'm going to show you a formula to find a and b when c and d, d is given. Just have a look at it first. A plus B equals to C. A times B equals to D. And we know C. C here is 56. And D, D here is 768. And I'm going to show you a formula to find A and B when, when you know the, these numbers, right? You don't need to use your brain. There's a formula for it, guys. Now I'm here to show you. I just discovered it, and now I'm here to show you. Okay? And um, it's C plus or minus C squared minus 4d, oh sorry, plus or minus square root of c squared, minus 4d divided by 2. Now when you see this sign, some people might not be familiar, you don't, there is no sign for that, you don't type in that sign. What you do is in calculator, right? Oh by the way, I'll prove the formula later, so just relax a bit, I'll prove the formula later. Um, what you do, right, is you type in plus first, or you can type in minus first, doesn't matter, right? It'll give you one of these numbers, right, and you type in the other one that you didn't type. So if you type in plus, next time you type in mi minus, and if you type in minus first, next time you type in plus, and if you give you either of these numbers, right? It does not matter which it gives you. It's like if I say if, if you, you type in minus and it gives you B, it does not matter, right? Next time it will give you A. Th these uh, two numbers does not have to be distinguished, right? So yeah, so you get the point. So um, once what? So you type in plus once and it gives you one number, either A or B, and you press uh, type in minus one to give you uh, another number, so either B or A, whatever you type in. Uh, yeah, so, okay, now I'm going to show you the proof for this formula. So, um, so we have A plus B equals to C, and then A times B equals to D, right? Now, 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 we need to uh, just um, minus B both sides in this equation. So it becomes C minus B, and then you have A times B because D both sides. Now you're going to divide by B both sides in this equation. Then it becomes A equals to D divided by B, and also A equals to A C minus B. So then you equate them because they both equal, equal to A, so they equal. You equate them, then you times B both sides to get rid of the denominator here. Now, you have CB minus B squared, because C, you, cause you, if you're familiar with um, factorization and times and like that, right, you, C times, uh, if you times these uh, together by B, you, you end up with CB, C times by B minus B times by B, which is B squared, equals to D, because uh, you got rid of that once you times B. That's the gong, okay? Uh, yeah, just write it for purposes, but uh, it's gone, okay? Um, okay. So, you end up with, uh, if you minus D from both sides, you end up with C, B, C times B, uh, minus B squared, minus D equals to zero. Now, uh, just to make life easier, I'm going to make them positive, make B squared and D positive, okay? So, I'm going to move everything to this side and leave this side zero, leave, um, sorry, this side zero. Now, here, I moved it. Uh, I minus CB both sides, I plus B squared both sides, and I uh, plus D both sides. So it becomes B squared minus CB plus D uh, equals zero. And we know C and D. Why do we know C and D? C and D is what are they? They are 56 and 768. So, so just to keep that clear, clear, right? Keep it in mind. We know C and D, and um, I'm just gonna um, switch to x right now. Switch b to x, and b in this case it's not does not equal to b here. Okay, 
x is equal to b and b in this case like like I said here is equal to minus c why I'm doing this I'll show you why I'm doing this later just stick with me for a sec right and d in this case is equal to c okay Th these two equations are not uh, the same at all oh what the hell oh well it doesn't matter right uh, yeah. okay these two equations is not are not the same at all okay they tell the difference that I, I probably should use uh, some other letters to express this but okay for but I didn't I'm sorry about that if you're confused just just comment if you want I'll uh, help I'll help you anyway um, here and you end up with uh, but no not not you end up with um, this is the quadratic formula right I made it uh, like this just so you don't get confused with uh, C okay so the quad this is the quadratic formula if you don't know how it works or what is it used for just google it and you will find out trust me there are heaps of videos on quad the quadratic formula and how it works and what is it used for so for those who don't know I'll, ju I'll just show you what it's used for it's used for to find it's used for to find x in this situation if you know x squared plus bx plus c and you know that it, it equals to zero then you can use this formula to find x why do we need the formula? Because it's very, it's exactly the same as uh, as this one. If you just replace b with x and uh, c with uh, b and uh, d with c, you can see it's exactly the same as this. And so, um, minus b here, you see minus b, but b equals to minus c. So minus minus c equals to plus c. That's how we got. Um, I show you. That's how we got C. Just no, no plus and no minus, right? And um, what do you call it? Uh, then you have B squared, which is C squared in in our case, and then minus four AC. But we're four, okay? I have four here. But A A is actually before X. If you uh, know the quadratic formula, it's A. But A in this case is equal to one. So you don't write it. So four times one is a time still one, right? And C, C in this case is not this C, but is D. Remember, um, oops, C equals to D. Okay, so so basically it's four times one times D, which equal to four times D, which is here four times D. Uh, and you square root it, and um, it's C squared minus uh, four times D, as shown here. And you divide by two A again. A is 1 here so all you have to do here is divide by 2 times 1 which is equal to 2 so all you have to do is type in 2 so I hope you know you understand the proof if you don't just um, um, comment uh, below the video I'll answer it right and um, like and subscribe this video for more videos like this I mean this formula will save you a ton of time right you you, you have to admit it it will save you a ton of time trying to figure out what plus what to give it this and what times what to give it that to factorize okay so that's the formula you type in what plus what here and then you plus or minus obviously type in one one uh, sign first and then uh, the square root of C uh, which is what plus what to get which is the middle term here in this uh, equation here and minus 4d divided by 2 and that um, ends the video I have shown you a really really useful formula so feel free to share it with your friends and stuff because it's actually really really useful I found it so anyways cheers guys